welcome back to the channel and today Yuzi and I are going to be competing to build the best torpedo. So we're going to uh, build boats that are capable of launching a torpedo across the water and hopefully be able to destroy the other person's boat. And um, after we build, we're going to compete to see who can actually get the first hit on the enemy. And uh, that will determine, I guess, who ended up building the best torpedo or probably just who's the best boat driver to fire torpedoes. But uh, either way, it should be a fun process. What do you think? Yeah, I think this is going to be really fun, Scrapman. All right. So uh, we're going to break off into uh, our own areas to build. And I'm going to mute myself so we can't hear my super top secret torpedo building plans. And uh, <laughs> we'll come back and see what we built in a couple minutes or probably more than a couple minutes. But, you know, later. <laughs> All righty. Let's do this. Okay, so building the torpedo is going to be interesting because not only does the torpedo have to be able to drive across the water uh, being a separate object as my boat, but my boat has to be able to fit enough torpedoes to get a couple of chances to actually fire at uh, Yuzi here. I don't even know where to... I guess I should probably start with the torpedo concept because I need to know what the torpedo has to be shaped like to get the functionality I want in order to determine what size of a boat I'm going to need. So I'm going to start off just by having a very, very buoyant uh, raft that I'm going to attach the torpedo to. And this way, with my seat on the raft, I can uh, control the launch of the torpedo and make sure that it functions without being attached to me. Okay, so one thing I know about the torpedo is it is probably going to be propelled by the underwater propeller. It is the most streamlined of the two underwater engines. The only thing is the attachment point is not in a very convenient location. But the other thing about the torpedo is I pretty much have to use uh, dynamite as the explosive. So by the looks of it, yeah, this looks good. I should be able to put this dynamite for dynamite within the hitbox of the underwater propeller, but I actually have to get them to attach. Oh wait, they have attachment points on the underside, don't they? Yes, they do. That's good. All right, I got to admit designing this torpedo is a much harder process than I was anticipating. Like you want something to be streamlined, but at the same time, the parts you need are just very, very bulky to add to this thing. Okay, so using these paddles, this should keep my nose going straight as far as left and right goes. But for up and down, I'm thinking I'm gonna want to actually control that uh, with sensors. Like I'm gonna have that be automatically controlled so I can maintain a certain uh, depth. All right, so I'm going to start with a proof of concept here. I've added a logic gate in here that when I press the number one, it is going to trigger the detachment and the underwater propeller. I just want to see if this torpedo will actually go with the push of a button like I plan on doing. It's not often that I separate things from my build that also have to maintain uh, or functionality. All right, let's see if we have a functional launch mechanism here. Okay, that it, it just went straight down, but that looks like it's doing what it's intended to do. Let me test it again. Okay, good. The engine, the underwater propeller stays on. That was the main obstacle that I was uh, unsure if it was that simple, but it is that simple. All right, so now we need this thing to maintain a trajectory. And I got to be honest, this thing goes a lot faster than I was thinking it was going to. All right, so here's my thinking. I'm going to use an altitude sensor and this thing is going to detect sea level. So altitude... We want this thing to uh, aim for just surface level and we can have trigger below. So when it is below zero meters, it is going to trigger these steering hinges to aim this paddle upwards, which should cause the nose to tilt up. And I just have it on 10 degrees. So that should essentially keep it at the surface. So then, yeah, you can see it's aimed up right now. So let's see if this actually works. Okay, too much. Way, 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 way too much. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's not good. Oh, uh, it's a dolphin. <laughs> all right, that's fine. Uh, that is totally fine. Here's, all right, you know what? You know what I need to do? I need to adjust the power of this thing. <gasps> the underwater propeller doesn't have a power setting. Like if I have a dragon thruster in here, I can set the speed, but the underwater propeller has no speed. All right, ready and go. Oh, it's way too much. I think I just need to make this thing just a little bit bulkier. Okay, so right here, now I can add a weight onto the bottom of this, and I will try to add something buoyant on the top of this. I think I could just stick a couple of these in here. All right, let's see if this feels better. Oh, now it goes down, curves way up. Oh, man, this is rough. 
All right, I think I just need more buoyancy in this thing. It's really uh, not having a good time just trying to stay on the surface. I might need to make it longer and make room for some buoyancy stuff. All right, as you can see, I've made this torpedo much longer. Now it has a lot more buoyancy at the top, so let's see if it actually stays where I want it to stay now. Okay, not looking good. Okay, I'm swapping controls to these side fins here. All right, hopefully that'll keep the nose up, but not too much. Let's see how this feels. Wait, why is it doing that? Why is it nosing down so much? They're tilted upwards. Is it just that front heavy? It might just be that front heavy. All right, I'm going to deactivate the propulsion now because I think this thing needs to be able to float on its own without propulsion in order to stabilize itself. And then right there, there's just not enough in the front. Okay, but it does at least float in that context. So this explains why it's so unstable going forward, because the nose is just, it's got no stability on the surface. All right, I'm replacing some of my dynamite up front with buoyancy. I don't know if it's going to be enough to compensate, though. Here we go. Let's see. Ooh, that looks good. Look at that. Okay. All right, let's return their propulsion back and see how this functions now. Oh, that made all of the difference. Look at that. That looks beautiful. That's all I've wanted this whole time. Now let's actually fire it at the aircraft carrier, see what happens if it hits. I don't know if I need to have sensors that trigger the explosion or if it's just the impact is gonna be enough. Here we go. I did not hear an explosion. Okay, I mean, it looks like there's kind of an explosion, but I don't hear it. I should hear a boom. I think that means we should use sensors. Right, I'm gonna follow it this time. Okay, maybe I was just too far away for some reason. Here, you know what? Let's see how it does against itself. All right, well, it's gone. So the explosion sound may not be happening the way it's supposed to, but it seems to be just as destructive as it should be. All right, well, I think I actually have the torpedo portion done. So I'm going to go ahead and save the torpedo. There we go. That's a nice looking torpedo. Okay, now I got to build a boat. I want to be able to launch at least like four of them. I don't know. I think a catamaran would be kind of interesting and then have the torpedoes kind of drop in the middle of the catamaran and go straight out in between the uh, pontoons. So that might be kind of a fun thing to try out here. Okay, look at how big these uh, torpedoes are. I might have to build this a little bit bigger. They're the size of a boat. <laughs> oh my goodness. I just, I had to make it that big to fit all the parts I needed for the functionality though. All right, I'm going to do an interesting thing with propulsion here though. I'm going to use tank steering equivalent of boats where I'm going to have a whole bunch of uh, propellers on the left pontoon and a whole bunch on the right pontoon, and I'm just going to reverse their directions in order to steer. All right, so I got the shape of my boat here, which I think is a pretty cool shape. Uh, now I need to program the controls. So it should already go forward and backwards. Oh boy, it's actually really fast. I didn't intend it to be this fast. It'll probably slow down when I have the torpedoes added. So this logic gate is gonna control all of these ones. A will be backwards, D will be forwards. Then this logic gate will control all of these ones. And then A will be forwards and D will be backwards. So now I should be able to turn left and right and also go forward and backwards. This looks pretty good. So hopefully it's going to be strong enough to control uh, with all of the torpedoes attached. All right, I've hooked all of the torpedoes up, which was actually a lot more of a nightmare than I expected, trying to not cross wire everything. But uh, now when I press number one, you can see we launch one torpedo. I press number two, we launch another torpedo, number three, and then number four, and they all seem to function perfectly well. And actually, you know what? Let's see what happens. How devastating are the torpedoes to me? I'm just gonna go ahead and get out in front here and uh, let's intercept. Okay, didn't manage to intercept that one very well. What about this one? There we go. All right, uh, let's hope for the best when it comes to this. All right, Scrap Man, have you finished your torpedo? I think I have. A torpedo, boat, and all. And um, hopefully, hopefully they'll actually work in the moment. They work in practice. How about you? I cannot wait to see them. Uh, yes, um, I finished mine. It's pretty snazzy, and I think you're going to really enjoy mine. All right. Uh, well, I'll go first, because I actually had a lot of, lot of difficulties trying to get these things to work as intended. But I think I got something that I'm relatively happy with. Building in here. There we go. Oh, wow. So wait. I got four torpedoes. All right. Well, I'll show you mine now. 
All right, let's see it. All right, so here's my little boat. I it's so only small. Did the, uh, yeah, I know. I only did the one for you. Oh, you only got one. Okay. Yeah. That um, is such but, a uh, tiny little boat. It looks so cool, though. <laughs> it's funny. We it both is. ended up doing the same catamaran style with the torpedoes in the middle. Yeah, that's crazy. Um, <laughs> launching them from the middle. between yep. the Kind of like a, a torpedo bay. Wait, did you do the same controls as me where you have tank steering, essentially? Yeah. <laughs> We we, pretty, we literally just built like the same concept of a of a what boat. Are That's the crazy. Chances? Wow. <laughs> All right, let me showcase my torpedo. All right, let's see this thing. So just like you were saying, I had similar issues where keeping it level on uh -huh. the uh, ocean, it was actually diving down into the ground a lot. So here we go. Let's launch it. Yeah, pretty, oh, pretty there it goes. Simple. That's pretty cool. It looks it actually looks like a shark too. That's it. Oh, wait, does and it turn? It does. This is a tracking torpedo. What? So wait, how does that work? <laughs> Here, if you drive away from me, I'll uh, show okay. you a quick demonstration. Oh. oh, oh <laughs> uh, <no. laughs> what is going on? Uh, ignore that. Okay. So I'll launch the torpedo and it should theoretically track you. And follow you. Okay, so then if I turn this way. Oh, interesting. I see it trying. It's trying, yeah. Yeah. It's That's really interesting. Aim assist going yeah, on. it just turned into it. That's awesome. Okay, well, it's definitely <laughs> devastating. A hit is yes. definitely pretty devastating. I feel like it's going to be really hard to get actual hits in, in the moment of the battle, but we'll see what happens. We'll have so, to see. You definitely have more ammunition than me, that's that's for sure. Yeah, so the way this is going to work is when we do the actual battle, uh, we're going to get unlimited repairs until you get hit. So you can repair to reload, and obviously a hit... Well, actually, I haven't tested out a hit on you. Do you mind if I do a quick test real quick, see how devastating sure. it may or may not be? All right, there we go. Oh, of course, oh. it just doesn't yeah. mind it. Wait, what? Oh. <laughs> Why? Wow. What is happening now? Uh, is that supposed to happen? None of this. Like, the, hold on. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to repair real quick. Oh, and. Did it not explode? I mean. Oh. Oh, okay. Well, uh. <laughs> <laughs> this, this testing is not going very well for me right now. All right, take two on the test here. Oh, you're such a small target, too. That's not going to be good. All right, there we go. Nice and straight. Oh, oh instant death. I have a problem. Uh, I need to do well. some, uh, some logic rewiring. I realized that the sensor that explodes it is hooked into all of my other torpedoes as well. <laughs> <laughs> so when it blew you up, it blew up the rest of my torpedoes. All right, I think now, let me do another test here. Uh, okay. I think I should be good to go now. You oh, drop that. Here we go. There oh. we go. And yeah, as you can see, these are pretty much one hit uh, for both of us. So repairing isn't gonna do anything uh, in the mean in the meantime. How many dynamite do you have in each torpedo? Uh, just four. Just four? Yeah, same. I have yep. four. Yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> they've oh, stopped I've, each I've... other. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Wait, yours is upside down now. Is this even going to work? Uh, I don't think it works upside down, unfortunately. Okay. Oh, that's uh, It's still bothering oh, me. Strat. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to try... Actually... Oh, hold on. Let me... <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even mean to do that, but I haven't actually seen uh, can you just take a regular shot at me? I wanted to do some stationary testing just to see how it actually l looks it's fire from a distance So I haven't seen that on yours yet. Right, good luck aim should be good and fire and There we it go. comes uh, yep. yep, yep, that'll do it. Yeah, so that'll yeah. be a win uh, if that happens All right, are we ready to try an actual sea battle here? I don't know how yeah, this is going to go. Yeah, I'm so excited. Um, <laughs> let's gain some distance, and then I guess I'll give us a countdown. All right, let's Three, do this. Three, two, one, go. All right. All right. Going to be very strategic about releasing Launch here. the first torpedo. <laughs> You're just going to send them out and repair. <laughs> yeah. I think I need to get closer. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, <laughs> they're coming. Torpedo, you're going the wrong way. My <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be hard. Just because, like, the agility of the boats are so... M oh, oh, I almost hit myself oh, there. Oh, here uh -oh, we go. Here uh -oh, we go. Uh -oh, uh -oh, uh -oh. oh, it's trying. Oh. I saw it trying to steer towards oh, me. Oh, so close. Oh, God. Oh, no. 
My uh, torpedo Whoa, did not. Oh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Fire the torp. Oh, he went rapid fire. I did. Oh, oh they hit each other. Saved my life. Okay. Uh oh. Uh oh. Right. Get him, get him, get him. Oh. Oh, you have a thruster too. I didn't even realize that until just now. Oh. Oh no, it's yes. oh it's steering. Whoa. It's steering. It is steering Whoa. after me. Okay. This is cool. Trying not to Save me you. torpedoes! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that's actually pretty fun. Alright, we're gonna just keep sending out more and more torpedoes. This game's gonna it's get a, laggy. It's a different change of pace. It's it like really TV. is. It's like I gotta get close, but then if I get close, I'm also putting myself at risk here. Oh. <laughs> oh, my torpedo almost hit me. See, my back torpedoes, I gotta be really careful not to turn when I'm releasing them. I don't know how to Come do on, this. Come on. Ooh. Oh. Ooh, that last one just snuck through. He snuck through the uh, the fog of war. No Trying repair to tokens left. Really lock onto you. Oh, there we go. Oh, uh oh, I opened <laughs> up the map accidentally. Come on. Come on, lock onto him. No, 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 no. I'm trying to get like a decent spread so that if you try to avoid one, there's another one that's gonna intercept. Uh oh. Uh oh, oh, oh I pressed oh, the. No! Yes! yes! You actually got. <laughs> I got distracted with my buttons. I looked down at my keyboard and didn't even notice <laughs> your, uh, your thing was coming after me. All right, that is uh, at least one point for you then. That's one point, yep. It actually All tracks right. you. I know, it did. It, tur it turned right into me. Yeah, I accidentally released one of my back ones before the front ones, and I was panicking and looking at what numbers I was my fingers were on. <laughs> you ready? Yeah, let's go for a round All right. two. Alright, three, two, one, go. Alright, instantly gonna launch one out. Oh. 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 Come oh. on, track him. Oh. Yes. Come on, little shark. <laughs> it's actually oh. kind of scary. He speeded away. Ah. Oh, this one looks good. No, 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 no. Come on. Dang it. <laughs> All right, everybody. Everybody go. Oh, no. Ooh. Mm. This is hard. I don't know. Like, I don't I know. even know what the strategy is here other than just getting lucky. I have to stay still to launch my <laughs> torpedo, otherwise I, it's just gonna fail. Yeah, I kind of do as well for the most part. Like, they just do not go in the direction I want them to go. I'm actually honestly surprised I have it. Ooh, oh. there we go. The close radius got me. Yeah, yeah I'm actually surprised I haven't blown myself up yet because they have been facing me a couple times, which was <laughs> scary. All right, let's do a backspace this time before we do the final round here, tiebreaker round. The ocean is now being cleared of <laughs> torpedoes. <laughs> yes, this is not the most environmentally friendly uh, challenge. True. Three, two, one, go, let's go. All right, let's get the aim going and fire. Oh, <laughs> nope, that's a bit wonky. Let's see if I can just rapid fire a bunch of uh, bunch of torpedoes out here. Oh, uh, mine keep turning to the left for some reason. Oh, get off of me. Oh. Get off of me, torpedo. <laughs> here we go. That's that's quite a few torpedoes heading your way. All oh, right. You're just, you're just too fast. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Oh, oh, this is promising. This oh, is promising. Oh, no, no. Oh, oh, it turned. Oh, it turned. Oh. That's, oh, that's scary. Oh. <laughs> wow, man. That auto that auto turn is actually a pretty, pretty strong feature of yours. Oh, man. Oh, man. I don't even know. It's confusing me. I'm like, I don't know which direction oh, it's going to go. Flipped. Go, go, oh, go, go, go. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh my torpedo is oh, chasing your it. torpedo. Yeah. My torpedoes keep like taking a couple blocks off the front of me. <laughs> here we go, here we go, this is it. No. Oh no. no. Not quite. <laughs> oh god, that's a lot of torpedoes heading oh, my direction. Oh, I blew myself oh. up. Oh no. Oh no, no, your torpedo. Uh, uh. <laughs> it went over me. <laughs> all right, all right. Doesn't count, we have to keep going. Yeah, it has to be your torpedo that blows me up. 
Ah, why did mine keep going to the left? Oh, look at yeah, that. I noticed that. They, uh, they like to the turn a little bit. Oh, well, that time they're going nice and straight. I think it depends on what my boat's doing when I release, if I'm moving too much. All right, I got to change up strategy here. I know it worked for me Whoa. last time. All right, I want to get some distance, I think. <laughs> I don't want to be trapped. Oh, no, it's Kermit. <laughs> oh, you're so fast. Oh, see, I can't go when I'm releasing because I catch up with my own torpedo. Oh. All right, I got to do number two. Oh, get him, get him, get him, get him. Yes, the reverse strat is real. Here we go. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, that was so close. Uh -oh. It's kind of menacing. Ooh. Uh oh, my own torpedo is going to get me. Ah, it's coming after me. Why are you coming after me? <laughs> <laughs> That's the wrong way. Okay. I see that you have one torpedo and you're oh! launching. Oh, no. I actually got it. I don't know why that worked, but it worked. <laughs> wow. Good job. I think wow. uh, I think you did build a better torpedo mm. overall. I just, my boat was able to accommodate more ammo, which definitely helped with the strategy of being able to... Uh, Try to trap That's you in a, in a location. That was uh, was really fun. Good torpedo there. Good torpedo. We we both built very amazing vehicles and uh, boats and everything. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty happy with these things. All right. Well, if people will have uh, more multiplayer challenges, whether they're co-op or uh, competitive like this one, they should definitely let us know down in the comments below. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, don't forget to check out Yuzi's channel for some more awesome Trailmakers builds. Oh, that was wow. devastating. That was <laughs> satisfying, too. I like, went up in like a line of destruction. That was great. So if you guys enjoyed this video, you'll probably enjoy some more that you can find uh, right here on the end screen. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.